a good engineer and ask himself, what will it cost me to follow this man, Jesus Christ? What do I have to lose? And I want to tell you something. Young girl, young boy, you don't have to lose everything for you to follow Jesus. He says, if you love your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your mother-in-law, everybody around you, more than you love him, then you are not worthy of him. Jesus Christ is a very high cost at following him. And that is why the message I have, I am bringing to you right now is everybody. It's not for everybody that wants to jump up and down, sing secular music, have a boyfriend, sleep around, watch pornography, and somehow, somehow, come back to church and present a presentation here. It is not for you if you have not yet made up your mind properly. Thank you. I'm saying the gospel was never meant to be to collect everybody. But it is for a few who ask themselves, what do I have to lose? Somebody who comes to the cross of Jesus, and before they get to the cross of Jesus, they ask themselves, what am I going to gain and what am I going to lose? Because the cross of Jesus Christ demands change in character. You cannot embrace the cross of Jesus Christ and remain the same you are. If you ever came to the cross of Jesus, that cross demands that you should change. If it demands repentance, and repentance means you are walking this direction, then you met Jesus and you turned around. Come on. That is the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to ask you, young girl, young man, what had you to lose to follow Jesus? Because if you did lose anything, then you are not following Jesus. The man who kept of you, the man you are following is not Jesus if you never lost anything. If you didn't have to go back to your clique of friends who are critics of the gospel, who are, who, who are contentious when it comes to matters of faith, who think that getting born again is stupid, if you didn't come, if you didn't have to go face them and tell them, now I am born again, and this is the way I'm going to live my life the rest of my life, then you are not born again. When you get born again, when you come up to Jesus, it will mean that you will be a misfit among your unbelieving friends. You cannot be born again, you're still liked by unbelievers. You cannot be born again and you're still a celebrity in your school among unbelievers who say that you are the only one who is born again and who still fits in with everybody else. Jesus, when he left majesty on heaven, on high, when he left heaven, he came for one reason, and the Bible says, that was to die. And the Bible says he humbled himself, even to the point of death, and he died a shameful death. On the cross of Calvary, he was crucified naked. He went so low so that he may find you. And it was not so that he may give you a celebrity status, it was so that he may win your place in heaven. And this is the demand that he places on anybody, anybody who calls themselves his followers. The demand is, can you live for him who died for you? 